This episode's FTR shout out goes to Samanshu. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shout out in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Fish for Thought. It's time for meme review. Leave your entries in the subreddit. No, 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 no. Goodness gracious, this summer is so hot. It's not even that hot compared to other places in the world, but I do not handle my heat. This is why I live where I live. I'm looking outside and it looks like torture. I don't even need to be a gamer to not want to touch grass right now. I'm sweating just looking at it. For those of you who don't know, I'm in a sub basement, so all year it kind of stays the same temperature. Basically, it's best case scenario for me, and I'm still complaining. Hope your week is starting just right. Hope your summer is going well. Without further ado, fish tank review. View. Straight up hand soap going in. Oh. This is not a, is this a water change? Why did they put hand soap in it? Okay, um, I'm cutting that out. I don't want you guys to see that part. Ooh, I feel like I would scar you guys. So basically they put a fish into this bowl that clearly has hand soap, at least two dollops. You don't have to be a chemistry major to know that hand soap is quite basic on the pH scale of things. Well, you know how people say wear gloves when you wash dishes because for those of you who aren't Asian, and actually use your dishwasher. <laughs> yes, Asian people actually use their hands to wash dishes. Their dishwasher is full of containers for potluck, bags for why, and empty water bottles. But you know how they say wear gloves, right? Because the detergent is very basic, it can burn your hands. Well, fish are very sensitive to what's in the water and the reaction, the visceral sort of, okay, let me stop right there. This is actually real time applied fish abuse. You know how you go into applied sciences because there's more real world tangible ways to use the signs you learned. This is applied fish abuse. Like it doesn't take some time for you to realize, oh, that fishbowl is too small. No, this is immediate reaction. The way the fish is thrashing in there, that made me nauseous. Some people really need smacked. For my mental health, I'll just hope it's fake. You know what? After watching it a few more times, what? because I also want to hope that it's fake. The first time I saw it, I was so shocked that I just didn't even really look at it. The second and third time through, I feel like, I feel like that was some sort of lure and they had this string and it's they're pulling it because i don't think even if fish were thrashing that they would move like that but anyways i'm sorry if some of you want to see it um this is probably my better judgment speaking and coming through here y'all should not be watching this after scrolling through the comments and watching it like one more time i am almost 90 percent sure it is fake but from the 10 percent chance that it's not we'll just say let's move on i have to say in my more than a decade experience this is the first time i've ever witnessed a water change being done like this. This fish tank sent in by Josh Tocolino. First thing that catches my eye is the strong woodscape. Got some live plants in there, nutrient rich substrate. And although it's kind of a faux pas just to put any decoration straight vertically like this, that piece of wood somehow seems pretty nice looking. I only see like a little shadow of a neon tetra. Floaters up top. Got the Acrim Co-op sponge filter going on. I'm not sure what that apparatus is. Would like to know the answer. Clean backdrop. 4.15 out of 5. Keep it up. Mom's boyfriend refuses to buy another filter. There are actually three fish in here, by the way. I mean, I feel like another other filter would help, but a bigger tank in this case would help more. You wouldn't be changing that much. It's not like you decorated the place. Bada bing, bada boom, everybody's happy. I'll have the gabagool. Correction, ex-boyfriend. Whoa, didn't see that one coming. Tell her we all say congratulations. I love this movement towards the change from like that typical mentality created by those rom-coms back in the day. Like I can change him. He's such a baddie. Ugh, I'm the chosen one to change him. Just watch. He might be a murderer, sociopath, pedophile. <coughs> now, but give me a month with him. I'll date him to victory. I'm not 100% sure what I'm saying here. I haven't watched that many rom-coms. I don't even know how this happens in rom-coms. I just know that this is some kind of stereotype. Sometimes people go out looking for brokenness or baddies. I'm super proud of this mom right here. Only three? Tell his mother to buy a pleco to clean the poop. It definitely won't poop more and make her tank dirtier. Agreed. Plecos don't clean fish poop and they actually poop quite a lot. Oosh. Charles Williams sent in their 90 gallon and he said that I have reviewed this before but I don't remember it so this must be a rescape and if it is a rescape dude this is absolutely stunning absolutely gorgeous impeccable okay I wouldn't go that far but healthy angels nice school of what is that zebra daniels large swords java fern anubias pogo stemmen halferi dwarf sage hygrophilip and atophyta rotala in the back some moss attachments here and there bro I'm a plant genius homie call me duck from the fft discord <laughs> 
tiger loaded. I love the round pebbles, the woodwork. It's so amazing. It just juts out straight out of the water unapologetically. How can you be apologetic about that? This is a five out of five. One of the very few five out of fives, I would like to say in the past like three months. Amazing, Charles, keep it up. The aquarium store was beautiful. Everything was, except this. Then is it beautiful? That's like saying, oh, this pizza is so good, except it has poop on it. <laughs> just a little piece of poop, but it, you know, the rest of the pizza is edible. I don't know about that. I feel like it's it's tainted, you know? And this is quite literally very crappy. There's a lot of crap in there that's not being handled by anything. There's no surface area. What? I do not, for the life of me, understand why local fish stores take exceptional care of their fish, but then keep their bettas in conditions like this. I feel like it's most pet stores. There's one locally that I go to. Their betta fish have relatively pretty nice space. And then the other one is a Krem co-op. When I visited, all their bettas looked so healthy. You know, maybe sales isn't 100% everything. Appearances, like people don't want to go to a pet store that's selling sick pets everywhere. Max likes batta fish. Hey, batta, batta, batta. 10 gallon spade tail betta named Honus. I don't see him, but that's okay because I'm blind. Maybe you guys see him. Oh, is that it? This looks like an older established tank. The plants are all integrated, very nutrient rich substrate. You got some algae on the glass and everywhere. And that's fine. This is like a home cooked meal instead of a restaurant quality meal. And home cooked, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's just comfortable. It's comfort food. This is comfort for the eyes. Like I've had a tank like this before. Most people have. Most people into aquarium plants, which of course you should. Sponge filter, husbandry is there. You can just tell. It's a solo beta tank in a 10 gallon. What else can you say? Four out of five. Keep it up. How some people keep their tanks. How Chris keeps his tanks. <laughs> Boom! The slap that made this channel famous. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. And recently there's another episode that's out where I paunch instead of slap. Go check out that video. It's on my channel or I don't know where it is. Just look for it. That's the challenge. Try to find it. It's an excuse for my horrible marketing skills. Click the link below now to win <laughs> Randma Snookums sent in their four gallon with guppies, otosynclas, and ram's horns. Wow, I just love the rock structures and how you embedded the plants around them. Those guppies are looking like liar tails. True to their name, they are liars. They're not guppies, they're not endlers, they're liars. They're a hybrid cross, not fond of them. If you ask me, nope. But then again, nobody's asked. Nicely planted, clean backdrop. That substrate looking like fluorite. You're gonna need some root tabs, you're gonna need some liquid fertilizer. Nice rimless, clean tank, good light up top. The score would be a 4.5 out of 5, but I'm moving it down to a 4.35 out of 5 because of the liar tails. Personal preference, as is everything on this channel, everything to do with the fish tank review is my personal preference, so take that with a grain of salt. Petco not knowing what lucky bamboo is. Swirl combo bamboo. <laughs> well, that, that sounds a little better, actually. <laughs> Sir, for the same price, would you like the virgin lucky bamboo or the giga chat swirl combo bamboo? Damn, it's only $8, bro. Can't buy anything with $8 these days anymore. Went to McDonald's the other day, just got a meal. I think it cost me like $13.50. What in the f- When you can't even afford McDonald's anymore. Damn, maybe the grocery stores all copyrighted the name Lucky Bamboo and now pet stores can't use that name anymore. Teacher, what should a good fish keeper remember to do? Me, do water change. Teacher, then why did you write, get your hands wet? <laughs> Guilty. Guilty is charged. I like how confused the cat is. Yeah, you're right. Why did I write that? I'm just subliminally feeding you chur's speak. Don't forget to do a water change. That's so lame. Now, nah. Lewis Insanity sent in their insane aquascape. What is this beautiful place? I want to be part of the school of these cardinal tetra. I don't know how big this tank is. It might be a little overcrowded if those cardinals are not 100% adults yet. Ooh, is that a neon in there? Oh, some of them are actually neons. That's kind of fun. I love the dwarf sash carpet with the hair grass or is that some like really really deep-seated hair algae <laughs> but you can just see the runners of the dwarf sage i love it when the plant propagates itself you probably got like one order of dwarf sage and they just, just multiply themselves fine i'll do it myself oh there's a betta fish in here too i was gonna give it a 4.9 out of 5 uh, betta fish i don't know how big this tank is but what the hell five out of five keep it up lewis what teenagers want for christmas what i want for christmas damn that looks sick sea clear acrylic aquarium combo set Does that come with the wombo combo bamboo <laughs> what is it called again i already forgot 264 dollars probably not including shipping eh damn that's steep dude how big is this oh 29 gallons and it looks rimless okay that that might actually be a good deal to be honest color cobalt blue but it's like not even half of the price of the ps5 just because the pet store has a death trap for their fish tank that doesn't mean that you putting that fish in a slightly better death trap is much better but they won't let me buy 
one goldfish because my tank is too small. Your six gallon is too small. Yet they have a tank full of dead fish eating each other. Whoa. So that looks like the minnow and also feeder goldfish section. Working at Pest Mart, I gotta say, uh, this one's kind of complicated. Every time a big shipment comes and these get restocked, I kid you not, half of them are already dead. And the other half are looking like they're in no condition to live another week. What the F is this, man? Those look like... Okay, imagine dying slowly in a small box while staring at minions. Katua. Question of the week is, what's your favorite way of cooling off in the summer? Cause boy, I, I need some answers right now. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go uh, hit the fan. Uh, see you guys next time. If you enjoyed, please smash the like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget, to do a water change. Ugh. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod from Carisiformis to Peretrorodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.